The smallest life form found in the sea is plankton, minuscule plants and animals that float in the ocean. They vary in size from so small that one can only see them under a microscope to large enough to be seen with your naked eye, although they don't get bigger than the finger of a three-year-old. Millions upon millions of these tiny life forms make up the most important food source of the sea. From the smallest of reef fish to the largest one on Earth, many creatures of the sea feed exclusively on plankton. The whale shark is the world's biggest fish and it feeds on one of the ocean's smallest organisms. Imagine eating food smaller than a rice grain all your life. Even a manta, the sea's largest ray, eats only plankton. They open their mouths wide and swim through the water using their horns to traffic the plankton into their mouth. Animals that eat by filtering the water and sifting plankton are called filter feeders. They all have special organs adapted only for this job, very much like human teeth that bite food and then chew it. Filter feeders need to strain the water and catch all the tiny animals suspended in it. Fish like whale sharks and mantas swim in the oceans, forever searching for their favorite food. But other filter feeders are not so lucky. They are literally glued to the spot on the reef and have to wait for plankton to come past them. This is true for most of the corals that make up the stunning reefs of our world. Man first thought that corals were simply beautifully colored underwater plants, an understandable mistake considering how wonderful they look, swaying gently in the current like flowers in the wind. It was soon discovered that corals are actually made up of colonies of tiny polyps which eat live prey, plankton. Because the polyps are so small, the actual plankton is large enough to be eaten one by one. They immobilize the microscopic animal by stinging it so that it's easier to eat. To a diver casually swimming over the reef, this feeding process is almost invisible. But from the smallest of corals, to the huge gorgonian fans that branch out into the current, thousands of tiny coral polyps frantically wave their tentacles in the water to catch their next meal. In between the lovely corals that adorn this underwater garden, sponges filter the water as well. They are the simplest of multicellular animals, with no muscles or nerves, so they cannot swim or walk to catch their food. But they have developed a basic system where they ingest water through small pores found in their body wall, absorb the plankton, and send the water out of their central funnel. This way, with no mouth, teeth, or hands, sponges can eat enough food to grow and thrive throughout their lives. So, although plankton is made up of some of the tiniest animals on Earth, life in the sea could not continue without it. These small animals are the main fuel for so many of the inhabitants of the ocean. sponges depend upon plankton for their lives, but so do some of the ocean's largest inhabitants, sharks and rays, 
constantly searching for new feeding grounds where plankton gather in clouds thick enough to keep these giants alive, the filter feeders. Yeah.